Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and you think your animal, your dog, your cat has a tapeworm. Yes, tapeworms are common and they can definitely happen. Tapeworms are usually spread by the flea, and when the flea is digested or swallowed or eaten by your cat or dog, it then ruptures and the tapeworm is released into your dog's intestines, almost like the movie Aliens. Tapeworms, and most commonly Dipletium caninum, is spread by the flea, and once it gets in there, it releases these little segments that fall into your dog's or cat's cat's poop, and that's how we diagnose it. Yes, that sounds super basic, but it's probably the most effective way to do it. We can totally run a fecal and see if we can see any tapeworm segments in the fecal, but I rely heavily on you guys, the pet owner, either showing me a picture, bringing in a poop sample with tapeworms in it, or at least verbally telling me you saw some tapeworms. What do tapeworms look like? Tapeworms look like rice. If you see rice in your pet's poop, or around their butt, and that rice is moving, getting longer, smaller, and bending at all, those are most likely segments of a tapeworm. Tapeworms should always be treated. The nice thing is about tapeworms and any parasite, I say nice, it's you gotta pick the appropriate dewormer. So if you find a tapeworm, you should be picking the appropriate dewormer, which is usually prasiquantral or ipsiprandral. Always talking to your veterinarian and picking the appropriate dewormer is really, really important because you want to make sure you pick the right dewormer to treat the problem. As always, guys, I hope this was super helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope your kitties and doggies are happy and healthy, and you are too. Take care. Bye.